Hi everyone, my name is Ross. I am from Acura's Shooting System. In this video, I would like to show you how to use our system and what it is all about. We are a Norwegian company that has developed a laser shooting system which you use with your own firearm in your own home anytime you want to. So part of the point is that you can use this system in your own home and you don't need to go to the shooting range and spend a lot of money on ammo, for example. So let's start by looking at how the package and how the system arrives. This is what it looks like in the box. We open it up. In here, you get your charging cable with USB. You get a tripod holder and you get your system, which looks like this. It is also very important to mention that um, inside every system, you get some instructions and everything that you need to find of frequently asked questions or manuals, you can find at www.accuritetarget.com. So for the system, how to set it up. You use your tripod, put it on underneath, like so, and that's ready to go. What you can also do with the system is that you have holes in the back so you can hang it up on the wall, either up here or sideways for biathlon, for example. We'll come back to that. Also for the system, we have a laser cartridge, which looks like this. You open it up. You take off the back end as so, and you take out the plastic bit, which comes as a protection from here. Then you put on the back end again, and it's ready to go. We have lots of different calibers and most of the ones that are out there for different weapons. There's also a front target, which is used for the system. It comes like this, open it up, and this is what they look like. Uh, here are just a small amount of the different front targets that we have. We have for precision shooting, we have for marksmanship, we have for pistols, we have for hunting, and we, ha we have most of the front targets that you would need to be able to practice. All shooters know that dry firing is extremely important to become a better shooter and a better marksman. However, everyone also knows that at times it can become very boring. I'm quite sure that most of you have tried dry firing and never gotten any results out of it and you don't really know what to do. That is where the Acri shooting system comes in. Because when you shoot at the system, you get your results instantly up on the app, which you have on a tablet or a phone. Other benefits of the Acri shooting system is that you don't need to use time going to the shooting range and you save a lot of money on ammunition and you still get the same experience as on the shooting range because you're getting your results instantly on the app. So let's take a better look at the system. So now I've set up my system on the tripod and I need to choose my front target. This time I have chosen the DFS 100 10 meters target. And it is important to notice that all our targets have been 100% correctly downscaled from the distances outdoors. I slide the target in so. Then I need to find my pad or my smartphone. I need to open up the app like so. I press the three buttons up in the top right corner and I need to press connect to target. To do so, I also need to press the button down here on the target so that it is possible to find and connect. There we see it is connecting and now it has connected. So the first thing you need to do then when you've set up the system and the app is to um, make a new target for yourself. So we press the three buttons up on the top right corner. We go to settings. We go to targets. We press up on the right hand corner, there's a cross. 
a plus sign. This is the picture that we then find. First, we need to press the target to find a new one. This time I am going to make a Ipsy target. Then we are able to choose how many shots we are going to have in our session. So this time I would like to have five shots. You're also able to choose a inhibit function. This is mainly made for our acoustic models. So this time I'm going to choose zero seconds. Then over here on the sound button, you can choose between different sounds. This time I would like to hear a nine millimeter. And down here, you can choose to rename your target. So I am going to call my target Ross. And you press the button here to save it. What you are also able to do when you're choosing your target is to choose between the tripod and our rail slider. And you press the tripod and you see that the rail slider appears. And it is important to see that when you've chosen your rail slider, you're also able to choose which way it is going to go with the arrow over here and also which speed you want it to go for. And the speeds that we've set it at is 0%, which is then still 25, 50, 75 and 100% of the possible speed. This time I'm going to choose a tripod and I am going to go back into the main area. We've now got the DFS 110, not the one that I made, but it's the one that is on the system. So if I would want to change to the Ipsy target, I press up here on the three buttons. I choose the target here and I would go down and find the target that I want to choose. You are also able to, if I choose a running bore target, for example, here, you can see that I can zoom in and out and also down on your right hand side on the on the screen on your left hand side when you're looking at it you can also see the rail slider which is set for this target there you're able to press the button for the arrows the way it's going and also for the speed that's important to know so that you don't need to go back to the different menus every time you want to change this so then I would choose my DFS 110 meters once again, which is on the system here. I would either then take my calibration shot or I would press the start session button and you're ready to go. Another thing that we've thought about is the parallax issue for especially hunters. And most scopes on a hunting weapon has a 100 meter distance set. And this will be an issue inside when you're shooting at five and 10 meters distance. So, to fix this problem, we've made a parallax adapter, which looks like this. And it looks like this. You set this on your scope and it fixes this issue so that you're able to use your scope at five and 10 meters distance. Another function that we have put in our Accurize app is a sight adjustment. You don't want to be adjusting anything on your scope or on your firearm. Therefore, if you go up on the right hand side, and in the menu, we have sight adjustment. As you can see, it's become green in the bottom of the screen now. You take your shot, and this is now your new center point for the whole series that you're going to shoot. Along with the sight adjustment button, we've also added the possibility to calibrate your weapon manually. You do so by going to the menu up on the top right corner. You go to settings. You then go to targets. You choose the target that you're wanting to use right now and calibrate. You scroll all the way down here and you get your target up. Here you have two possibilities. You can either press the buttons and you can calibrate millimeter by millimeter there and up here. Or you can slide the sliders from left to right and up and down. Now it has been calibrated manually and you are ready to shoot your session. Another function that we've made in our app is the reports function, which gives you a possibility to look at your history of your shooting and your practicing. You press the top right three buttons, the firearms report. Here you get the different front targets 
and you choose the one that you would like to get your reports from. Here you have the possibility to either look at your reports as different shots or you can press here and you can look at it at, as a heat map. You're also able to press up here on the button and you can see, for example, your last five sessions or you can see your last 20 sessions, basically what you would like to. If you scroll down a wee bit, you can also choose one particular session to look at if there is interest in doing so. I would also like to tell you that in the app, in any menu that you're in, we have put in a help function. So if you're wondering about something on the screen, you can tap the question mark. And now you can see that it tells me here, tap to change layer, which means that I can change from the heat map to the different shots for this session. So to end this off, I'd like to illustrate how the system actually works. You have your system, you have your app, and you have your laser cartridge. So what is gonna happen is, when you put your cartridge into your firearm, the firing pin is going to hit the primer, and when the primer is hit, it is gonna send out a laser, which hits the system and is directly reported back to the app. So let's take a look at how it looks like. We start our session down here, and when the primer is hit inside your firearm, and it shoots a laser, you can see the shot instantly in the app, your result, and you can also hear it. As you can see, this was not very good shooting, but you can see that your shots are instantly shown, and this makes dry firing a lot better so that you can improve your shooting. So you're wondering how precise the Acura shooting system is. At 10 meters, it is as precise as plus minus one millimeter, which is the same as a weapon's own precision outside with live ammo. So this makes it possible to use the Acura shooting system to improve your shooting and your marksmanship in your own home and with your own weapon. Good luck. Mm -hmm.